Hello everyone, this is Santa Collector here with another action figure review and here are the Halo Spartan Mark 7 figure here. Um, and so here's the front for you. Uh, and then here's the Spartan Collection sign there. Spartan Mark 7 there for you. And then it comes with, uh, includes game add-on there. Halo logo figure uh, 8 plus uh, one set Halo Infinite logo there. And here's all the figures in the wave for you. Uh, you get the white Spartan, the blue one, and it's Master Chief here, which I do have. Uh, and then, yeah, you just get this on the side. Nothing on the top besides the UNC, I meant UNSC uh, varnish there on the top. Nothing else on the bottom. So let's crack them open. And here's uh, Spartan Mark 7 out of the packaging here. So let's go over his, uh, his accessories first. So first he comes with this uh, pump shotgun here. So you get the gray detailing there, some little black detailings too. You get the black grip there for the pump action, uh, the grip for the trigger. And you get this peg here to peg it into his back or side, wherever. So yeah, that's cool. And you get this other, I guess, pistol, I believe. So it's just all gray. You get this other peg here for the same reason. And yeah, pretty cool. And he has a bunch of hands here. So he has two relaxed hands. You get some, you get that red guard there with some wear, silver wearing there. So that's cool. And you get this like salute hand here. So that's cool. Also, same deal, but I don't see any wearing on this one. So yeah, and you get two fisted hands. So you get that same detailing there, the gray silver wear. So that's cool. Uh, but besides that, oh yeah. And you also get this uh, little card here with all the um, add-ons and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna turn it around because then there's the code for you. But yeah, I'm keeping that stuff for myself. Um, but besides that, that's what we got for the accessories here. So let's go over Spartan Mark 7 here. So first off with the helmet, you get the grit, I mean, this gold visor, really reflective. I like it a lot. And you get that black detailing here. They did a good job on the detailing on these figures. I like them a lot. So yeah, you get more oxygen, uh, vent insulators, things, whatever you want to call them on the helmet here. So that's pretty cool. You get more of the gilt, uh, gray or silver uh, wear around the helmet there. Actually, you get that all around that figure, actually. So yeah, you get even some on the shoulder here. The back, you can definitely see that. Uh, you get some of that gray, I guess for the packs, I don't know what you call them. Um, and then for the black areas, you get some of that good, cool texturing. And then for the belt, you get that same detailing for the wares. You get the forearms, pretty cool. And then these are uh, gun holding hands, so you can have them hold this blasters or shotgun, whatever you want for this one. Um, and then, yeah, here's the thighs for you. So those are pretty cool, mainly red. Um, then the knee pads and then the shin pads, bunch of really cool wearing and details throughout the figure. The toes definitely are worn, but it makes sense because they're always on their feet. So obviously they, this stuff, their boots would definitely be worn out. Um, and yeah, and you get the elbow pad here. Not a whole bunch going on there. But yeah, I like this figure a lot. This They did a good job on detailing here. Uh, so let's go over his articulation here. So first he can hinge his head down that far, up that far. You get him to go left and right. Uh, you get a bunch of head pivoting there. Yeah, you can definitely get a lot. I think he does have a bottom neck joint. No, he does not. So it's all the top of the head there, top of the neck. So you get a bunch of movement and stuff going on there. So that's cool. His shoulders can move out just a little past 90 degrees. So that's cool. Uh, and something cool about that one, I think, is that I think you can hinge it or maneuver it for the butterfly joint here. So you can kind of get it to move around all over the place. I kind of was worried about that at first, but then I was like, wait a second, it's probably for the articulation. But yeah, you also get that little butterfly joint there. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. Uh, he has a bicep swivel, but it's not working around that right now. But yeah, that shoulder piece does help with that part too, though. 
You get double jointed elbows there, so low past 90 degrees. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a ball joint at the top, so you can go for just zero backwards, not a lot either. He does have another ball joint there, so yeah, same deal, not a whole lot of movement for the ab crunch or whatever. But again, the twist just a little bit that far, the other way that far. Oh, and the leg popped off. Yeah, these guys are kind of easy to take apart. So yeah, just a little worrying about that one. Uh, but yeah, not a whole lot of movement on the ab area or diaphragm. So you get his legs kick out pretty far. Forward, not a whole lot. Backwards, decent. He does not have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. So that's good. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, ankle pivot and toe hinge up that far and down that far. So yeah. Yeah, for the like little pigs, it's kind of the same deal with Master Chief. You kind of got to try to get these guys out. It's kind of tough, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the only problem with these figures. They kind of are not really uh, they're not really into just popping out. You kind of got to use force with it. There we go. It's kind of coming out, but yeah, I'm not even going to bother with it, but oh, never mind. This one probably would. No, same deal. That's not happening either. All right. But what you would do is that you pop these guys out, turn it over. The peg is on that side and just plug these guys in. But yeah. So these two are, uh, this figure is pretty cool. I like them a lot. I like the detailing, the wares and stuff on them. The visor is pretty cool. A uh, bunch of really cool accessories and stuff like that. So yeah, I really recommend getting them. Especially it's pretty cool if you get the little in-game add-ons. So yeah, um, which also kind of gets me to want to get Xbox Series X, but I'm still going to get a PS5 first. And then I'll save up money for Xbox Series X, but yeah. Uh, but besides that, that's all I've got.